New life is a sinus spring. Ike Van David joined herpetologists says they scouted out ponds looking for young amphibians. In the hills of central Vermont, Jim Andrews and Aaron Talmadge have their eyes to the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Andrews and Talmadge are at an undisclosed location checking on undisturbed ponds for egg masses. There's really two species that are the pond breeding um, amphibians that move early in the spring that, that leave obvious egg masses that you can count. The focus today is on wood frogs and spotted salamanders. That will give us an index of the female population at these sites and it also gives us some insight into the timing of migration and egg mass deposition. They've been checking on various ponds for 25 years. I think the fact that this is a long-term monitoring spot makes this incredibly special. And what they're finding is that these egg masses are arriving earlier in the year. So just over the last 25 years, those species are arriving 10 or 11 days sooner at these ponds than they used to as a result of a warming climate. We can then look at long-term trends that you just can't, uh, you can't see those changes over the course of a year or two. But if here we're talking 25 years. Andrew shows us that despite looking similar in the water, outside the water, the egg masses are very different. With, with this, the uh, spotted salamander eggs, there are fewer eggs bigger embryos and you notice here that this whole thing is holding its shape pretty well even in my hand the extra layer is better protection for the eggs and protects them from predators like newts this is the shark of the pond which we saw hanging around the wood frog eggs the embryos are smaller the mass itself is bigger like a softball size mass and the mass is not as well protected by firm jelly. Notice how it has more, it has hundreds of embryos rather than, you know, 60. Andrew says amphibians and their egg masses are the canary in the coal mine and that they're indicators for how ecosystems work. And after several decades of inspection, they say it's valuable data we can learn from. By watching them and keeping track of them, if there's changes uh, happening with their populations, that gives you an indication of the health of the ecosystems. And the ecosystems keep us all alive. Every year we see something different. Um, we see things that are different. We see different animals. In central Vermont, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News.